Hi everyone, I'm Bita Delisi, and in this video we're going to talk about can a tenant bring a bad faith application against the landlord if no N12 was served? This is a question that we're getting asked all the time because we're finding that landlords are trying to end the tenancy without actually using the N12. And when the tenant moves out and finds out that the landlord didn't move in or didn't have a family, mo family member move in, they bring a bad faith application against the landlord. Well, the Residential Tenancies Act actually speaks to substantial compliance. And what that means is that did the tenant actually move out as a result of uh, this email or this notification by the landlord? You see, any time as a landlord that you put something in writing in an email or in, an, or in a letter, this documentary evidence will be used against you at the board. And at the board, the board will actually look at what was sent to the tenant to notify them of the termination. And they want to make sure that the elements of an N12 actually existed. So what I mean by that is if a landlord sends an email and says, uh, as your landlord, I want to terminate the tenancy by giving you the 60 day notice because my son or daughter uh, requires possession of the property. If the tenant actually complies with that email and they move out and they find out that there's an advertisement now of the landlord asking for $1,000 more for rent and they bring an application to the board, the landlord must now advocate their position at the board and explain why they sent the email and why their circumstances changed. The board then actually has a test to bad faith. And in accordance to section 57 of the act, the board asks three questions. And so the questions are, number one, did the tenant rely on the N12 in order to make a move? Well, we know that there is no existence of an N12. So we're going to say, did the tenant rely on this notice or an email that the tenant provided, that the landlord provided them in order to make a move? The second question is, is there an advertisement of the rental unit? And the third question is, did the person who was supposed to move in actually move in? So what we're trying to, what we're trying to avoid is landlords serving a notice without having the person or persons who are actually going to move in, not move in because more and more landlords are using this as a loophole and the board is actually, uh, the board is actually cutting down on it. So if you're looking to end the tenancy and if you don't have a reason to, contact us. We'd be more than happy to provide you with your options available to you. If you have any questions, call us first.